Hey guys, Valor here. Just want to have this as a bit of a forward before we take a look at the UMP Griffin by Flygonial and Adrian. I want to let you guys know that this will be a slightly different style of video compared to what I've done before where I just ramble at a camera. And I feel this new style is much more concise and will usher in a new era for my channel. But I wouldn't be here without you guys, so be sure to sound off down in the comments below and let me know what you think of the new style of video as well as the blaster. And uh, yeah, roll the intro. If you have been in the 3D printed blaster scene in the past few years, you probably already know about the Griffin by Flygonial. It is a fully 3D printable strifoid style blaster that can use the majority of flywheels and motors sold at nerf modding retailers such as Foam Blast and Out of Darts. This one has been built with a custom UMP styled parts kit designed by Adrian, who you might already know from the Foam and Nature shotgun and Gecko blasters. The kit consists of a new detachable stock, reverse angled magwell, and battery box foregrip that attaches to the carbine barrel from the base files from the Griffin. Powering this particular build is a pair of fang revamp motors and a pair of sunshine wheels from Fetwurst which are just his personal version of daybreak wheels. This configuration currently averages 140 to 150 feet per second with Adventure Force Pro Darts, which is perfect for CQB games like Ragnar Oktoberfest 5v5, which is exactly what I was hoping for with this blaster. The controls of this blaster are fairly straightforward, with only two main triggers for function of the whole thing. The rev trigger is linked to a tactile and clicky micro switch, and the firing trigger is buttery smooth with its geared action. One con, however, is that the firing trigger has no lock to prevent darts from being pushed into the flywheels if the blaster is not revving, which can lead to jams and stalls. I would like to see an updated grip that integrates a switch into the travel of the trigger so the wheels will spin when the trigger is moved away from its resting position. This will prevent jams and malfunctions. Range and accuracy of this blaster is quite decent for a flywheeler. I'm getting on average 80 to 90 feet with Adventure Force Pro Darts with decent grouping. Hitting a person sized target at around 30 to 50 feet should be no problem for anybody using a similar setup. Aesthetically, this body kit is great, offering something a little different from the hundreds of Griffin builds that have popped up since the original Griffin was published to Thingiverse. The front battery box has plenty of space for even your beefiest of graphene and lipo batteries, if at the cost of becoming more front heavy. The only real gripe I have with this battery box is the fact that you need to undo four screws to access the battery, which is a bit inconvenient if you like to swap batteries between blasters for different rounds. I would love to see a version of the foregrip that uses this faux knob up front to remove the battery cover and access the battery. An update for the future, perhaps. The most unique part of this whole kit is the reverse angled magwell, which unlike the standard straight magwell for half and full length magazines, uses a spring loaded detent for magazine retention. You will have to load your magazines backwards, however. This might be a deal breaker for most of you if you use angled talon magazines in your other blasters and don't want to keep track of which magazines you have loaded in reverse for this single blaster. I would recommend pairing this with an angled Talon Lynx or Talon Claw U bullpup with the angled magazine well so you can unify your loadout. On top of the UMP parts set, I have also used some parts from Adrian's standard Griffin remix, namely the stripe plate for the left side of the blaster and the back strap for the grip to make it more comfortable to use with one hand. One of the best things about these parts is that it's all modular. Don't want to buy or print angled Talon magazines? Use a straight magwell instead. Want a short front end but like the novelty of angled mags? This magwell is able to be used with all standard Griffin cages. Modularity is one of the greatest aspects of the Griffin, after all. It is one of the main reasons the Griffin has become so popular in the hobby over the past few years. New parts are being designed all the time. This is certainly a situation where the end product is greater than the sum of its parts. I can use this both for casual wars and competitive games with no need to change my loadout, which is great because familiarity with your gear is paramount for being effective in skirmishes. But let me know what you think. Are you down with the angled mags, or do you just want to have a slightly different front end? What kind of griffin build did you go for if you have one? 
If you have an opinion, I want to hear it down in the comments. Also, on your way down there, be sure to give the video a like and to subscribe to the channel and set the bell to all notifications so you don't miss my future uploads. You won't want to miss what I have coming up over the summer because I have some awesome builds and blasters to show off and I'm very excited to share them with you all. I'll also be sure to link the filaments and parts I used in this build in the description and the pinned comment for your convenience. As ever, my name is Valor. Thanks for watching.